welcome back to the Piston Slap channel and you're probably thinking this isn't your bike. So today I'm at Birds of Prey Motorsports here in Caldwell and I was like you know just sitting there thinking you know I'd like to test drive this bike. Of course, a figure. What better way to do it than in a crappy weather? And we're on the uh, XCA 800 Tiger. Actually, I wanted this one. I guess I take the river exit. So, I apologize for the amounts of wind noise if there is a lot. Yeah. Wow, crosswind like horrible. One way. The clutch is uh, really soft compared to a sport bike. And uh, let's uh, do a little, oh, we'll just stay here. Suspension soft. How fast am I going? 39. Now, I watched a few different reviews on the internet, and I'm, I'm not going to go all into this bike, guys. I'm just doing an initial what I think, and this is from riding my uh, DRZ and uh, riding my sport bike and the differences. Obviously, my mirrors are all goofed because, well, that's what it is. Let's go left here. I don't get too lost. Brick. Bricks feel good, guys. Got a little little high pitch whine to it. Let's uh, angle you guys up so you can see where I'm going, not just stare at the dash. Stop staring at the dash, guys. Guy gave me a full take of gas and says, "Go ride it till either you want it or you don't like it anymore." <laughs> I like it. So this bike, uh, he said, is fully loaded. Obviously, doesn't have all the panniers on it and everything, but uh, heated grips, fog lights, heated seat, heated passenger seat, and holy cushy guys I mean this seat is uh, almost like sitting on my couch at home which could be a bad thing for my wife because well I'd rather be on the bike than being at home I'd like to try out the cruise honestly that's right guys and that's how I came across this bike was actually cruise control and why I even looked at it I feel like I could pop a wheelie on this thing but it does feel a little bit heavy, guys, I ain't gonna lie. The guy says it's just a skosh under 500 pounds. So, and that was something that um, one of the reviews I had read is the guy had mentioned that it's, um, it's quite heavy. It feels good though, it really does. And the wind protection, guys, with, you know, Having full fairings, everything feels good. The uh, engine cages are out of the way. In case you decide to know on a... Oh, maybe I want to go there. Oh man, yeah, those brakes feel good. Feel a little bit of heat on my uh, left shin coming off the engine, so... That's probably the radiator. The XCA is more of a dirt-oriented bike, 
Um, the tires that they ship with them from the factory are is horrible, uh, from what I've understood. And I can't say for experience, because I asked the guy about, you know, hey, can I take this thing out to Silver City, which is quite a ways from here. He goes, yeah, let's just fill out some more paperwork, and uh, after you're done, you can just take it home. So let's go ahead and pull over here, guys, and you can get a good look at this bike, other than just the dash. Neutral, easy to find. Now, has it got a positive neutral finder? Nope. You can start this guy off in second gear if you'd like. This has got a goofy sound. Goofy to me, maybe it's normal to you guys. WP suspension, which I hear is pretty bad. Pretty bad A, or pretty awesome, I guess I should say. Um, it's already set up for the panniers and everything. I guess we could turn the fog lights on. As you can see the tires are not really aggressive dirt tires or street dirt tires they're more street like a 95.5 tire i guess is what they said got a nice aluminum bash plate actually goes quite a ways back looks like it stops right before uh, you would smack your suspension engine bars radiator now i heard uh yeah it does have a radiator shield kind of neat I heard uh, the clutching and shifting mechanisms was uh, pulled right from the uh, Triumph 675R for you guys that are in sport bike. See the reluctor and tone rings. Got a center stand also, guys, which I heard uh, get into aggressive cornering with the bike. You'll drag that. I blocked the plate, but it's just a dealer plate. And then uh, pegs for your passenger. A little oh crap handles for them. So you got your heated grips, uh, two stages on that. Does it have a cheap horn? <laughs> yes, it has the standard, I'm cheap. Looks like you got adjustable uh, levers. Right here's your adjusters. Uh, the modes, trips. I don't know what any of that means. So your heated seats, front, back, cruise control, kill switch, starter, mirrors. I believe the windscreen I heard is adjustable. I don't know how you would adjust it, but maybe it's not, maybe it's not adjustable. So that's the walk around of it, guys. Let's go do a little bit more riding with it and then take it back. It's so smooth in the gear though. It's not like, you know, anything I'm used to. Let's just hammer on it from... Goes up to five grand. It's got some good pickup, guys. It, it's decent for something that you would go play in the dirt. You wouldn't want to get too carried away with it. And I'm sure the riding modes would probably change how uh, the throttle is mapped out. Because like on uh, the sport bikes and some of the other bikes, they dumb down your throttle a little bit. So if you get a little stupid with it, um, you don't spin the back tire and wipe out, do a high side, low side, anything like that. Okay, there it is. Cruise is set, guys. I got it. I figured it out. A little green thing came on. So I got it set at 35, I believe. And you can see it's uh, it's holding it. And we're just clicking along fourth gear, 3,000 RPM. Sorry, I'm not going to go through all your gears and tell you the differences and stuff like that. So. You know, RPM gear, you got rev counters. The spike uh, is supposed to do pretty good, uh, 55 plus mile to the gallon, depending on how you ride it. And to kill your cruise, I believe you can just touch a brake, roll your, bump your throttle. I wonder if the rear brake, yep, rear brakes. Uh, front brake. 
and throttle. Yep. How about the clutch? Yep, clutch even disengages it. Side out of the mirrors, guys, the sight is fantastic. I can see miles behind me. If the right one was adjusted, it'd be even better, but it is what it is. So here we are back at Birds of Prey Motorsports. I'll uh, talk to you guys later. Thanks for joining the Piston Slap channel. I'm Robert. I'm out.